How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the foods and the strategies I used to lose a hundred pounds. As many of you guys know, I have lost over a hundred pounds and I decided to put together this video and show you guys what I'm currently eating to lose weight. Now, for the longest time, I've actually been training and you know, I have successfully been able to lose a hundred pounds, but for the past couple months, I've been actually been maintaining my weight and trying my best to not gain anything, but get used to um, being this current weight at 200 pounds, but now summer's approaching I built a little bit more muscle a bit more strength and I do want to lean down to a little bit more of an 8% body fat um, Just because I've never done it before so I definitely want to push myself and get to that goal hopefully by summertime so these are the strategies and the foods that I'm currently eating. And of course, I'm gonna modify them as the time goes by. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So my mornings usually start from six to seven a.m. Now, usually at this time, if I have the time, I will cook and make breakfast first thing in the morning. But sometimes I'm in a rush to go to work and I don't got that time to do it. So I always go for something that is high in protein, Today, I actually grabbed a protein drink that has about 26 grams of protein, which is pretty good. And when you look at the macros, they're not bad whatsoever. So something quick, something I could grab, something that's gonna break my fast and just get me throughout the day. Now, usually around this time, something that I like to do is actually walk to work. So on days that it's nice, going for a walk, getting those steps in is so important. Something that I started to notice, especially as you get older, you become a little bit busier. You don't want to pretty much walk anywhere. You might drive to work, um, sit at a desk, come back in a car, sitting, driving coming home and just lying down and watching Netflix. Sometimes we get into a routine where we're not walking enough. So I always try to aim for about 10,000 steps a day. And early morning is the best time because I could just get about 5,000 steps straight off the morning and I don't have to worry about it throughout the day because 5,000 steps for the whole entire day would be pretty easy to get. Now, I am pretty lucky that at my workplace, I actually have access to a kitchen so I could actually make food at work. But if I didn't have that luxury, then I would definitely bring a lunch or bring my meals with me ahead of time. I might make it um, at night. But luckily for me, I get to cook at work. So for my actual breakfast, I'll be having some English muffins with egg and some sausage patty or ham um, in the mixture of it as well. And I'll also be including some blueberries. Now to make this breakfast is pretty straightforward. I just have the English muffins that I would just put in the toaster as well as while I'm doing that, I am cooking the eggs as well. Now I prefer my eggs a little bit runny, but you could always make them scramble or any style that you want. And once you pretty much have them all made and you even you know cook the ham, you could now put it all together and make a delicious sandwich. So now moving on to lunchtime. Now lunchtime, I usually keep things pretty simple as well, but I lately started to find some pre-seasoned chicken breast, which at first I was a little bit hesitant. I was like, I'll just season it myself. But once I started to purchase these, I started to notice that the macros weren't so bad and they just tasted amazing and they weren't that expensive. So right here, what I got is a seasoned Parmesan chicken breast with tomato sauce on top and some veggies at the bottom. And to make this, it's pretty simple because it was already pre-made or pre-seasoned, all I had to do was quickly cook it on a frying pan 
as well as the tomatoes I pretty much just saute them add a little bit of butter and add a little bit of basil and then boom I just put some veggies at the bottom and now I have a delicious Parmesan chicken and boy let me tell you I could eat this every single day like it's a great way to cook your chicken breast sometimes chicken breast is just so plain so dry but if you make it and if you like Parmesan cheese then you will definitely like to incorporate this and make your own batter as well as mixture if I had to do it myself I'll definitely go with breadcrumbs and some egg and just lightly season it with some Parmesan cheese you don't want to go too heavy with it but the macros are pretty outstanding when it comes to this meal. It's really high in protein that's gonna keep you full, as well as it's really low in fat, as well as it's really low on carbs. And it's just gonna keep you full throughout the day, and it's gonna keep you happy and going. If you started to notice a trend, I'm really focused on protein, and all of the other macros fall underneath as well. Your fats and your carbs are very important, but I like keeping my fats till later on in the day after my workout. But right now, so far, I'm really good on hitting a lot of protein. If you notice, I'm probably up there in the 100 grams of protein and it's only lunchtime right now. So I still got dinner and I still got a few more snacks. So let's go. So once I am done my shift, I usually head to the gym straight after. Um, I would usually bring some gym clothes and I'll just do my workout at the gym. I'm not focused so much on cardio, even though cardio is important. For me, my main focus is to keep my strength and to build muscle. And cardio, I usually tend to do it by walking those 10,000 steps a day. So in the morning, I already got in that 5,000 step. And throughout the day, I'm probably collecting about 2,000 steps at work. And then when I am at the gym or heading home, I'm getting another 4,000 steps and that's pushing me over my goal. Now, it's also super important to keep in mind to keep track of certain things. I know that some people may not like tracking their macros or tracking their calories because it might be a little bit too tedious or it might you know, trigger them at some point. But to be honest, once you get over those hurdles of it being too challenging or you just don't like you know the feeling of having to only eat what you're you pretty much put in an app um, once you get over those hurdles you start noticing some great results and you start actually realizing that it's actually working and not only that you actually have some data that you could go based off personally I've been tracking ever since I started losing weight maintaining weight and now losing a little bit more weight I'm seeing progress and I'm seeing a chart of it throughout the map and I could go back a whole entire entire year and actually see what I was eating when I first started and that kind of data is so important because you can make adjustments if you're feeling hungry you can make some adjustments the next day and be like okay instead of having those English muffins in the morning how about I add some potatoes or how about I add a pancake mix or or some other carb that's gonna keep me more full but I found this to be one of the better ways to lose weight is by tracking because I can make adjustments um, and it's right there. The information, I'm following it and it's pretty much right in front of me and I could go back as much days as I want to and I could see my progress as I go. But now that the gym, now that my work, all of that has come to an end, now it's time for dinner. Now, usually for dinner, I would keep it light, but today I wanted to spice it up, you know, for the video, as well as I was craving it a little bit. So today I'll be having a strip loin steak that's 10 ounce with some salad. Um, this happens to be one of my favorite meals of the day, and that's why I always keep it to the end of the day. And it has a lot of fat, a lot of good fat as well that um, you know I look forward to it tastes amazing so the way that I normally prepare would be on a barbecue but because it is winter I do have to just use the good old-fashioned frying pan so hopefully this video gave you guys some ideas on what to make or what to eat if you're in a calorie deficit everyone's 
macros, everyone's calories is slightly different, but just for you know some information out there of what I'm doing, I'll keep mine right here so you guys could get a rough idea. But if you are planning to lose some weight, definitely use the online calculators. I'll leave a link in the description of what I'm using and just see what pretty much you need to eat every single day. Maybe track it for a week, that way you get a rough idea and you might learn something. You might see that, hey, maybe I'm not eating enough protein, maybe I'm not eating enough fats, maybe I'm not even eating enough in general, or maybe I'm eating too much. That was a big realization for me when I was 300 pounds is, boy, I was eating way too much. And as you saw today, I, I'm still eating pretty good, but I'm eating, you know, in portions and I'm being smart of what I'm eating. A lot of high protein meals and not so much in the carbs and very average when it comes to fat. So I'm going to be doing this for a couple months and see how the progress goes because my goal is to lose a little bit more weight and be at that 8% body fat and take some, take, take some pictures, you know, take some, take some nice pictures. <laughs> But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. But with that being said, I'm Lord of Lion. Keep the blood pumping. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.